All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for taking the time to uh, call in and, and view our webinar. We're going to keep it fast paced today. We're going to cover fundraising, uh, mainly brochures, holiday shop, and then touch on our Colorathon program. And we're going to try to do that all within a 30 minute time frame to uh, respect your time. So uh, to start, uh, thanks again um, for dialing into our webinar here at Gifts and Things. Gifts and Things, to give you a little bit of background, a family owned and operated company started in 1976, actually by my parents. Uh, my wife and I bought the business in 1996. And the two other people that are here on the call with me are actually my brother-in-laws. Uh, Steve Rainford is our Vice President of Operations. Good afternoon, everybody. And Ben Rainford's our Vice President of Sales. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Absolutely. So we're going to start with fundraising, like I mentioned. And uh, in today's um, world, we want to just kind of quickly touch on options. Uh, and today, uh, with COVID and hopefully the fall being a little bit more uh, or should I say a lot more normal than it was this, this past school year. Um, we have three options available. We had them available last year. Because of COVID, we'll have them available this year. Uh, but what we have been seeing lately in the last month is more schools are signing up in a more traditional format. But just to let you know, the traditional format in fundraising is where you think of the brochures go home to the students. The students take the orders, whether it be in person or online. The order forms come back to the school and the traditional orders get shipped to the school for distribution. The online orders, of course, would be shipped to family and friends across the country. We also have the hybrid model, which um, the hybrid model last year uh, was extremely successful for those schools that were able to hand out a brochure in like similar to a traditional format. But from that point, they had the option where the families could enter their order form orders on a portal so nothing had to come back to the school as far as order form orders some schools did accept the order forms back but then after that process all the orders were then delivered to the student homes so nothing was shipped to the school those orders went directly to the students home and that was the hybrid model that is obviously available as well and then our last option is online fundraising and it's just like it sounds uh, everything's done online from the distribution of the parent letter the brochures um, everything, the student portal, the, the families just simply log in and uh, send emails out, text, post the social media, and everybody shops online and the individual orders are shipped directly to the end user, the grandmother, the aunt, the uncle's home. So all three of those are available for this fall. Basically all of them like include the online portion, the hybrid and the traditional. And the main difference between, again, the traditional and the hybrid is the traditional, the main majority of product is shipped to the school, where in hybrid, the majority of product is shipped to the student, and the online, everything is shipped to the actual buyer or purchaser of those products. From there, uh, what's most important is that the backbone of any sale is the products and the quality of products. We have spring programs that we're wrapping up right now, but for fall of 21, we have two main catalogs available, Winter Wonderland and Perfect Presents. Both of those brochures equally well. It's just a matter of which one you like to look and feel a little better. Um, but both, both great programs of uh, the fall. Um, this is going to take a little while. I can open up this PDF right here. So Winter Wonderland and Perfect Presents has a variety of wrapping paper, gift items, a little bit of something for everyone. And that's the key to a good fundraising program. It's not one specific category, it's, you know, it's wrapping paper, it's kitchen. Uh, you'll see different mixes and, and, and um, <clears throat> candy and food items available. Uh, so there's a little bit of something for everybody. Um, and there's a little over a hundred items to select from, which is great uh, for the families um, while running their fundraising program. The other question, Winter Wonderland and uh, Perfect Presence uh, is our Gourmet Goodness program. And this is traditionally mainly a food program. It has candy and nuts and mixes and all sorts of different products like that. Uh, it can be tagged with Winter Wonderland and Perfect Presence. Um, and, and the thing about this program is none of the products is. Um, 
perishable. So it's off shelf meaning it to be refrigerated. Um, I guess and it has cookies, it has candy, it has uh, chocolate and a variety of different items to select from. So from there, once you decide which programs might be of interest. We have everything laid out here as far as incentives and services. Uh, our program uh, that wraps it all together for you is called Success Made Simple. If afterward, if you come to the website and you go to incentives and services, the Success Made Simple flyer is downloadable. But again, touches on the main programs. Winter Wonderland and Perfect Presence are 50% profit to the organization with a few exceptions like uh, magazines, um, mixes, and online orders. Gourmet Goodness is a 40% profit program to the organization. All of our products are guaranteed. So if someone's uh, not happy with anything for any reason or something gets damaged, we'll replace it, no questions asked. Of course, we have safety messages on all the materials for the families uh, to know that you're not asking the children to go door to door. Everything will arrive ready to hand out. So we make it as simple as possible for you. So whether you run Winter Wonderland and Gourmet Goodness, or perfect presence, gourmet goodness, or any any combination. We put them in the envelope, we put the parent letter, and we print the parent letter, put it in there for you. We have the order form in there. They arrive and we separate the packets in uh, sets of 25, so it's easy to distribute to the classrooms. We have a three-part order form, so the family keeps a copy, you keep a copy at the school, you send a copy back to us. Like we had mentioned though, we now have the availability for families, they can enter this order form right online if they don't want to do and turn any order form back into the school. So that's a great new option that a lot of families took uh, advantage of last year. Once the sales wrapped up and we tally it all together for you, we're going to send you a computer tally report, which has all the information you could want to know about the sale. You'll also have log into a portal that shows you, again, everything you'd want to know about the sale, when things are shipping, uh, what online orders have shipped. So everything's available to you 24-7. Once we pick all of the orders, we're going to pick them per student for you. We scan them by barcode to make sure they are picked and packed correctly. Then we pack them in individual, um, pack them individually by student, put them in uniform size boxes so when they arrive at the school, they're ready to hand out. Again, in the hybrid model, we can even ship these individual orders directly to the student home if, if you choose. Then some of the extra little incentives that we throw in to make your, your job simpler and easier. Uh, we have these superhero tote bags for the teachers, and we'll take those 25 packets and put uh, 25 packets in each tote bag. We'll put a homeroom poster in there. We'll put a letter to the homeroom teacher explaining everything. And then basically, you, when the materials arrive, you pull out those tote bags, and you can add or subtract based on homeroom size, but it makes it real simple. The prize program is actually the envelope that we collate into. It starts with selling one item. The first three item uh, levels are cumulative, and then they get to select the prize as well. So that puts the fun in fundraising. Uh, here is our participation posters that we provide you with, one for every homeroom. If a child sells one item, they can simply sign their name on this, on this poster. In any classroom with 50% <coughs> participation, we'll pay for an ice cream party, a yogurt treat party, a healthy treat party, whatever kind of party you're allowed to have at your school. And we'll provide the teacher of that homeroom a $20 magazine subscription so they could get something that they like or they could uh, get a magazine that they can share within the classroom. We also have an additional student prize for any registers online. Go to our online portal and register to send emails, texts, or post to social media with their parents. Uh, we will give them an instant prize. It's a superhero finger flyer. That'll be packed right in with the tote bag, so it's no extra work for anyone. There's a little coupon on the bottom of the parent letter that they turn in, and they get their finger flyer. Also, we're going to pack in that tote bag is a homeroom uh, superhero cape, and that cape uh, can be given to any child uh, who sells three items, and they can do a drawing at the end of the sale, and there'll be a winner for every homeroom or however you would like it to be distributed within the homeroom. Lastly, uh, for the fundraiser, we also will supply you with chairperson bonus, which is samples for your display case, back to school night. Uh, they're there for years to keep. So at the very end, um, you can also raffle them off for any volunteers that come and help you out at the sale. 
we're going to step on to next is our holiday shop information. But if you do do a fundraiser and a holiday shop with us, uh, we will give you a dollar for every child in your school to use at the holiday shop, irregardless if they participated in the fundraiser and irregardless <coughs> if they um, uh, brought any money to the sale. That's always a great bonus because Children that come down don't have any money. They're still included. Uh, there's 50 cent item for mom, 50 cent item for dad, or um, you can just save all those dollars and give them to the kids that come down and are most in need. So that's a great bonus. And with that, Steve. Okay, thank you, Kurt. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about our, our little shopper shop program this afternoon. And Kurt's gonna navigate here on the computer. But before we talk about our little, specifically our little shopper shop, we should always talk about exactly what is a holiday shop. A holiday shop is an in-school gift buying service for the children that typically happens between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it's a great way for them to buy gifts for family and friends in a safe uh, shopping environment. Uh, for you as the people running the sale, this is a 100% risk-free on consignment program. We're gonna provide you merchandise and whatever you sell, you sell. And whatever you don't sell, you're gonna simply pack it up and send it back to us. There's no risk to the school. So. Let's just get a little quick overview on the holiday shop. And now let's talk about why the little shopper shop. We've kind of broken it down into three things, the quality of gifts, the technology, and the fact that we think we make it very, very easy to run. So let's take a minute and talk about the quality of gifts. Uh, Kurt's you know, kind of going through the gifts here. And our philosophy on these gifts as we work with our designer is to take these items that we would all agree aren't super high-end items, but it's our goal to truly turn them into a gift that a child can be proud of. Um, and then what we typically do is we break these gifts into categories. Kurt, if you kind of scroll up, so we have a, we have the female category, which is mom, grandma, and aunt. Then we have the male category, which is you know male items, dad, grandpa. We have some blended items like number one best there. Um, that's actually a grandpa item, but my star there is, an, is a blended item for those blended families. Um, the most common you know, complaint we hear in the industry, in the holiday shop industry, is schools that end up with very poor quality gifts. So we spend a lot of time making sure the gifts are of good quality. You'll see here, notice all the packaging, full color packaging. It doesn't have that dollar store tchotchke feel, for lack of a better word. Um, the gifts range from basically uh, 25 cents to $10. So it fits inside a child's budget. 85% of the items are uh, $5 and under as well. So those are, that's a little bit about our gifts. Let's move on, Kurt, to the technology. You got it. Where would you like to go first? Let's, let's start with the chairperson website. You got it. So within the technology, we have three different components, really. We've got our chairperson website, which is um, – a portal that all the chair people have access to. It's a, a not what's a non stop It's just basically a folder to keep you 100% organized. And there's some nice tools here for you. You'll see those big uh, blocks in the middle. We ship you reorders. Uh, you can place reorders here. You'll get your tracking information here. You can do self invoicing here. Uh, your initial paperwork will be here. Um, keep track of gift certificates and credit card sales, cash register app instructions. There's a, there's a lot there. It's very simple stuff, but, but there's a lot there. And uh, you will have login information when you get your chairperson material kit from us. Uh, the next, hey, Steve, one, real quick, real, um, while we're talking about the chairperson website, one thing I always like to bring up uh, and remind people, because it always comes up as a question, <clears throat> Uh, about reorders. One thing that separates us apart from the rest of the competition is that we allow you to make a reorder every single day of your sale. Our philosophy, uh, just like we like to have nice gifts and good quality gifts, our philosophy with the reorders is that we want your tables full. So when the students come in on the second or the third day, we want them to have the opportunity to buy the same gifts that the same students on the first day have the opportunity to buy. So we're going to allow you to place a reorder every single day of the sale. Every time we ship a package to you, you're going to get tracking information emailed to you. It's also going to show up here in the portal. So those are just a couple of things I'd like to talk about. Yeah, Thanks, and the, the reorder can be placed right here online. When you click on that button, it lists all the items, and you just plug in the quantities of the items needed. You don't have to write anything down. This is the simplest way to reorder. It also works on, on a phone. It's, it's mobile friendly. You can call it in or you could fax it in. So there's three different ways that you can place those reorders. The next piece of technology we have is our cash register app. Um, and this was developed in 2011. We were the, you know, the leaders bringing this into the holiday shop industry. And it's a very simple app. It's, 
basically matches up with our coding on the product. You'll see they're like a number four sells for a dollar. Um, number five is a dollar fifty. And all the product has a code on it in a little orange circle that's very easy to identify. Um, and that kind of gets back to our profit. In the holiday shop, you have three options for profit. You have a 0%, 10%, or 20% option. Uh, most people will choose the 10 or 20% profit to make a little bit of money for the school. Guys, anything else to add on the app? No, I mean, basically, and how whatever profit you select, that's what the, the app will, when you unlock the app, it has a school code, so it's tied directly to your school. So all the prices will pre-populate at, say, the 10% profit or the 20% profit. As well, we provide you with 10 cards, which you'll get into in, in a minute, and those have the uh, profit uh, all done together. So everything ties together, makes it nice and simple. The other thing to keep in mind that the app does have is it has the ability to accept credit <clears throat> cards. So if you run a night or a weekend sale and there's parents there, or you have a teacher that comes through and wants to buy some goodies for themselves and has a credit card, they can purchase with uh, a credit card as well. So the app also has the ability to accept credit cards. Thanks, Kurt. And then the last piece of technology that we consider technology is our gift certificate program. Gift certificates were we started using in 2015, and they just kind of seem to get more popular every year. And the reason this all started was because we pretty much live in a cashless society. Nobody carries cash around them like they used to. Um, and I'll, so that's number one. And number two, a lot of times the families aren't comfortable sending a kindergarten, first or second grader to school with cash. So what they can, on our parent letter, we provide a link where mom and dad can go and purchase a gift certificate, or they can even email it to grandma and grandpa if they want to support, uh, you know, their grandchild or maybe it's a, a close friend. But um, they can be bought. And then once they're purchased, you print them out, you'll, you'll get an email confirmation bring them to the school, and once they get to the school, they act like they are cash, so the, most children will spend it all, believe me. Um, and then uh, finally, Becca, you'll, you, you'll keep track of these by the way, when you, they're turned in, but as we showed you on the, the uh, chairperson portal, there's a place where they're all cataloged right there for you in case you have any questions about them. The other nice thing about our Gister Davids is there's no breakage on these. We will credit back your school 100% of the gift certificates, even if somebody didn't make it to school that day and they were sick, we're still going to credit you back and then they can get their money back from you. Yep. So, um, so that's the technology portion. And then finally, you know, we make it easy. Um, and this is really, you know, I think separates the Little Shopper Shop program from some others. And we kind of say the devil's in the details. Uh, the first thing we have here, um, we'll talk about, we use images everywhere. When you open a box of product up from us, there'll be an inventory sheet inside of it with a picture of the item and the quantity. Kurt's pointing out to you here what we call our pre-priced tent cards. We will provide those to you in card stock and um, depending on the profit you've chosen, the prices will match accordingly. Uh, so you'll get, you'll get a stack of those, one for every item. And those, believe me, Pete, we started doing those probably five or six years ago, and everybody loves them. Nobody's got to write out the price prices anymore and take the time to do that. So those are very popular. Uh, the next thing we have here, I'll, I'll talk about some of the components of our Get Started Kit, which typically goes out in uh, the end of uh, October, right on Halloween. Inside of the Get Started Kit is... Uh, first, we're going to have parent letters for you. That will, one will go home to every child, and they're offered in English or bilingual. The next thing we'll have in there is a budget envelope that uh, helps a family prepare the child's budget to buy gifts uh, at the shop. The next thing we have in there are, is the how-to manual, which is just kind of an ABC guide to how to run a little shopper shop program. And we, again, we try to keep it very easy. And then finally, in the, right in the middle of the page here, we off, we're going to send you a few posters to advertise your sale. Um, when, when it's coming up, you can put the dates in there. Okay, so um, there, there are some other things that we do to make it easy. Um, number one is, um, well, Mr. Curl, let's bounce back. Let's talk about the counter no count program. Um, so when, when this whole thing, this is probably, this is, this is huge. We offer a count and a no count program when you sign up. A count program is kind of like a tried and true sale has been done forever. You're going to start with 12 pieces. You're going to turn six. You're going to be invoiced for six. Um, so that's just kind of a, a, how you would run a basic store. The next 
uh, type of program has become popular in this industry is what we call a no-count program. And this is simply that you would keep track of your daily sales. Um, you know, day one was $1,000, day two was $1,000, day three was $1,000. You were doing the 20% profit, so you would subtract your $600 in profit, and you would, you know, you'd be invoiced for the remaining $2,400. So that those are that's become very, very popular. Just as there's, you know, there's fewer volunteers in the schools. Anything, guys, here to add as far as ease? No, I mean, bottom line is uh, Steve touched on it before, but you know, you're signing up, you select the number of days. Most schools run three to five days. Set it up on a Monday, break it down on a Friday. You choose your profit, and then all the materials, like we had mentioned, come in. Um, at that price, at that profit selection. The app works that way, the tent cards, uh, and then um, the chairperson material arrives, like you mentioned, then the merchandise arrives. Steve had mentioned this before, but on the outside of every single box is a label that tells you what's inside the box, and then you can see right here. When you open up every single box, there's a sheet of paper. It looks just like this, and it not only describes what's in the box and the quantity you should find, but over here, there's an image of every single item. So when you're unpacking that box, you don't know the difference in the beginning of your shop. What a designer ring is, a fashion ring, a birthstone ring, they all sound the same. But those pictures, accompanied with the tent cards that I pointed out before, um, make it so much easier because you just match up the product with the images, making setup uh, and running your shop a breeze. So one of the one of the questions we get so what's the what's the timeline or and the length of a holiday shop so just to kind of quickly go over the, the period of a holiday shop we mentioned the get started kit with the parent letters and supplies and everything you need we typically send that out right around thanks or right around halloween which is typically a month or so before your event and this is kind of like oh yeah i signed up for that holiday shop with the little shopper shop back in march or april and uh it's coming up i need to start getting my volunteers so um, that goes out the, around halloween time and then most groups are going to run their sale but one of the three weeks between thanksgiving and christmas um how long should you run your sale well an average size school of four 450 kids we you know might run a tuesday wednesday thursday with monday being a setup day friday being a, a makeup day and a pack it up day if your school's a little bit bigger than that you can run for more days but typically you're going to choose one of those first three weeks in december to run your sale um and once your sales run you're going to set it up uh, if you get low on merchandise they get the guys mentioned you can do a, a reorder and we're going to ship those out to fill next day air so they're there the next morning to stock up your shelves and once all that, once all your classes have gone through and you're done, uh, Kurt's showing you the picture of the UPS truck here. Uh, we provide you with your merchandise when we send it to you, uh, labels to send the merchandise back. So you're going to pack it up, and we ask you to do that into as few boxes as possible. Uh, get it out, leave it by the office, have the UPS driver take it out of the school for you, and it's on its way back to get some things. And then finally, um, on our chairperson web portal, we have an invoicing tab that you can very quickly uh, figure out your invoice, whether it's a count program or a no count program, it's all done almost instantaneously for you. It's very user friendly. Yeah, that's, that system's like, like Steven mentioned earlier, it's really your home base while you're running your sale and it's gonna walk you through the invoicing section. So it's nice and easy. And of course we have some early sign up bonuses for you to, to help out the school. Um, the first thing we offer is sign up by June 15th, which is typically like the end of school. Um, we have what we call our $300 value carnival kit. And this is just a box of all kids type items uh, that can be used, it's similar to like a treasure chest. They can be used for bingo night, spring carnival, gotcha for being good. Um, soon as a group signs up with us, this carnival kit goes out automatically right away. We do not hold them. Um, so that's number one. And then right in the middle of the screen there is our little shopper shop buck. That is our most popular bonus. Uh, these are great to have in your back pocket for the underprivileged kids or somebody that might have forgotten a little bit of money. Um, we'll send, we'll give to you the chairperson, the carnival kit, plus 150 little shopper shop bucks. And if you did run the fundraiser, or you do do both the fundraiser and the holiday shop with us, we actually increase this to from 150 to however many students you have in your school. So if you have 500 kids, you'll get 500 of these bucks like I had mentioned before which are great to hand one per child or just save them and give three to five dollars for those most in need. So, and then another bonus we have, if you're looking for additional profit and if you chose 
chose this instead of the holiday shop bucks we'll give you five percent additional profit on your holiday shop and some groups like this just because they you know it's just very very simple so if you chose 10 or 20 percent profit on your sale it basically bumps it up to 15 or 25 percent you talked about the carnival kit and the, the bottom picture there is you know it's kind of what we consider the old-fashioned cash register we have those as a sign-up bonus since we rolled out the app uh you know 10 years ago or so we do not use nearly as many cash registers, but if you want a cash register, we do have them available and they are pre-programmed to match up our coding. Uh, so it, they do make it a little bit easy in that aspect. It's it's our, it's our still there and because it's traditional and old school, but it probably is our least popular incentive now. And one of the main reasons with the app is if you picture, if you go to Walmart and 30 kids come in uh, all at one time and go to one cash register, you have 30 people standing in line and it's slow. With the app, you now have the ability for two, three, four volunteers to take those 30 students that are in the room at one time and check them out all simultaneously, uh, virtually eliminating the, what was the bottleneck in a holiday shop. So um, most people pick the bucks or the additional 5% profit as their additional gift. And that, that, kind of, that really wraps, wraps up the holiday shop. That wraps up the holiday shop. So we're, we're running a little light on time here. So I, I'll talk about Colorthon real quick. And Colorthon is... It's really our newest fundraising program that we offer here at Gifts and Things. Uh, the company was started about four or five years ago, uh, and it's become hugely popular. Uh, and you know, some of you on the call, you might be familiar with Color Runs. Uh, you might have seen them on TV. Uh, you might have participated in one yourself. You might have seen uh, pictures on you know Facebook or other social media uh, posts. But uh, we've taken that big community-based Color Run model and simply turned it into a school fundraiser. Uh, so we're going to supply you with everything that you need to, to run the event. And to back up a little bit, uh, the videos that you see on the screen are what a typical event will look like. Uh, and you have to picture one of these events at your school on a Saturday morning. Uh, we always say invite the whole family out. You're going to set up a small race course somewhere on your campus. And the kids are going to run around the race course. You're going to have some volunteers out on the race course throwing color dust at the kids. Uh, the kids are going to earn color packs during the prize program, uh, and they're going to be throwing color at their friends. So it's just really a fun event. It's a fun run at the school. Uh, and again, it's all going to start with the chairperson kit that we're going to send into the school. Uh, in the chairperson kit, very similar to our holiday shop, we're going to supply you with everything you need to promote the event. It's going to include your parent letters, your hallway posters, your how-to manuals, everything that you need to get started. Uh, the next, next piece of the package that you're going to see from us uh, is our technology. Uh, the first piece of technology is going to be your main event website, and that's where everybody's going to register for the event online. So the parent letter that goes home with the students is going to tell mom and dad how to register their student. Once they go to the, uh, the website and register, each student's going to get their own website. That website's really neat because they can customize it. They can put their picture on there. They can type a little message on there. But then through our technology platform, they can email all their friends and family to make online donations. Typically, the fundraising portion of the program is about two weeks long, maybe three weeks if you're really trying to stretch it out. Uh, and during that time, the students are going to ask from do for donations from family and friends. Uh, and the more money they raise, the more prizes they're going to earn. You can see some of the kids in those videos are wearing those prizes, and they're going to include T-shirts and sunglasses and beach balls and color powder and rainbow wigs, tutus, all very color-themed type of prizes that are really fun. They're going to wear them the day of the event. You know, so there's always a little competition amongst friends who can wear the most, you know, funny get-up. Uh, so the prize program works really, really well. Uh, so the kids, again, are going to fundraise for a couple weeks. Uh, and at the end of this thing, it's all going to culminate in this fun run at the school. Again, typically these are held on a Saturday morning. Uh, it's a really good spring fundraiser. It's very profitable. It might, and a lot of schools will tell us it's one of their uh, biggest profit structures of the, or the biggest profitable uh, events of the year. Uh, the school has the opportunity to make as much as 70% profit. Uh, with this program and your minimum profit that you're going to take away from the program is uh, 50 percent uh, based off of how much you raise so uh, at the end of the day it's going to be one of your bigger fundraisers uh, you can see here what kurt pulled up uh, 
The school, when they make uh, get donations of twelve thousand five hundred dollars or more, are going to make a seventy percent profit. Seventy five hundred dollars to twelve four ninety nine is going to earn you sixty percent profit, and less than the seventy five hundred dollars threshold will still earn you fifty percent profit. So it's going to be a huge fundraiser for your school. Uh, right now, this time of year is our biggest season for Schoolathon. Uh, the spring market is really when people start getting cabin fever, especially this year. They're looking to get outside. They're looking to, you know, do something different. Uh, and this has turned out to be uh, just a really fun, different, out of the box type of fundraiser. Super. Thanks, Ben. Uh, at this point, um, no one has typed any questions in. I don't know if anyone does have any. You can type them into um, the area on your screen. But uh, we wanted to keep it to 30 minutes. Right now, we're at 30 minutes, and I think we covered all the fundraising, holiday shop uh, information. Again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call right here, 1-800-468-7511, or shoot us an email at info at gntinc.com. And we'll be happy to help you out. But well, and we will also be sure to make sure that we reach out to you uh, and follow up on this uh, webinar. And uh, you know, if you want to respond to our emails, and we're happy to uh, answer any questions that you have. Thank you, everybody. So thank you very much, and you appreciate guys your all time. Have a great day.